Hey YouTube, Brian LCS. Thanks for stopping by the channel and this video, New York Comic Con comic book exclusives. So stay tuned to find out what books I'll be picking up. You down with LCS? You down with LCS? You down with LCS? Who's down with LCS? You down with LCS? You down with LCS? You down with LCS? Who down with LCS? Hey YouTube, welcome back. So, New York City Comic Con is about 10 days away. And I'll be there. Uh, and so I went ahead and started to take a look at some of the exclusive comic books uh, that will be available during the con and there are a ton of books. So I wanted to kind of go through some of them and get your feedback. Love for you to drop, um, you know, a comment and let me know what you think um, are some of the best books to pick up, um, what covers, you know, you like, um, and, you know, maybe even some, you know, do these books have any, you know, potential spec value that maybe it's worth picking up a copy or two and, and seeing if you could, you know, sell uh, and try to, you know, flip and, and, and make a little money. But, um, you know, I started going through th these books and there are, like I said, a ton of books. Um, I am kind of leaning towards some of the Spider-Man titles. Uh, but, you know, this book, uh, Action Comics number one. So this is the Comic Mint, um, you know, I guess, uh, New York City Comic Con edition. You know, I know this book recently um, was out as a reprint from DC. Um, and, you know, some of these books are, you know, 15, 20, 30, and this one is $40. Um, it is limited to 1500. So, uh, you know, I'm interested to hear your thoughts um, on, you know, what you think. Is there is there resale, resale value? Um, you know, do these books... Um, you know, potentially have, um, you know, some upside. I'm not really sure. Um, I have been to New York City Comic Con a number of times. I think this is my fourth trip. And two of the last times I've gone, I was not collecting books. Um, so really didn't pay much attention to the comic books or any of the exclusives. Um, so I'm, you know, kind of jumping back in this year. Um, so we have some great uh, Spider-Man books. So this is the Amazing Fantasy 1000. This is a uh, Tyler Kirkham uh, Midtown exclusive. I don't see a price on this one. Uh, another Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, this is twenty dollar book. Uh, so this is a Virgin that's limited to only a thousand copies. Uh, so this is Amazing Spider-Man number six, or uh, I believe Legacy nine hundred. So I've been, like I said, I've been leaning more towards the Spider-Man books. Um, but I look here, you know, there's some great um, Batman here. Here's uh, Batman 128 with Catwoman. Um, so, and there's some great, uh, you know, Batman covers here. <clears throat> Batman Beyond. Uh, we have, you know, some great... Um, I've seen some Vampirella, some, um, there's a Berserker. So, I mean, look, there's tons of options. Uh, Crow. It's crazy. This is, this is $300. So just, uh, you know, a wide variety of covers. I want to get into some of this. So here's Detective Comics, uh, 27 Foil. Uh, $40. Like I know this was probably, I think, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, uh, reprinted as well. Uh, let's take a look. Here's one of the, uh, as Simple Simon would say, uh, Lickworthy uh, covers. <laughs> so lots of scantily clad uh, women. We have the Amazing Spider-Man 300 homage cover. Unknown Comics. Uh, 
I mean, there is just so much to choose from. So I am, let's scroll down, some Gun Honey covers, some uh, Harley Quinn covers. Here's the one that's really negative space. Comics Elite. There's House of Slaughter. I mean, there are just so many different options. So, you know, I, I have a limited budget. I probably have about, about $150 that I have to spend on exclusive books that I've kind of marked for exclusive books. So now here is this amazing Miles Morales um, cover. This is limited to 1,000. There is the... Um, Mosaic, uh, Batman cover, uh, just so many great covers. Here's another Mosaic, Webbs, New York City Foil Edition. Let's see, I know there's a few other Spider-Man. Now, the, the books that I'm, I'm interested in, so here is a Secret Wars 8 homage. Uh, let's see. So, a May, uh, Spider-Man number one uh, will kick off, uh, I believe, next or in two weeks. So, this is the new um, the new series, uh, and so we've got now certainly I've got some good-looking covers there. Uh, let's see. We'll get to the Spider-Man. So here are some of the new. Um, so this is Spider-Man number one. This is the new uh, series uh, by Dan Slott. Um, so this was a cover that I'm. I think I'm going to try to nab. Love this this black suit Spider-Man. Um, this is a Joe Jusco cover. So I think that's one that I will be targeting. Um, here's Spider Gwen, Gwen verse number five, great miles, Spider Gwen cover. Uh, that might be another one. That's a Frankie's Comics exclusive. Um, here is the Spider Man number one, unknown comics. Uh, Mary Jane on the cover. So definitely a lot of different options. So here's a version of that cover. Uh, there were a few others. So, so here's some Star Wars books. Um, here is a Mike Mayhew, Darth Vader cover. Uh, Lego Star Wars cover with uh, Mando and, and Grogu. Uh, here's another Star Wars uh, Mayhew. Now, this was an interesting one. This is Star Wars Visions. So Visions is the Disney Plus animated uh, show where they've given animated uh, animation studios uh, the rights to come up with some Star Wars type stories. This looks like a really interesting cover as well. Uh, let's see. Superman. Uh, there were a few other uh, Spider-Man, like I said, the Dan Slot. Let's see if we can find those. I mean, we've got some um, Red Sonia covers. You've got Vampirella. Just some great, great artwork. Um, here you go. It's the Batman 423 homage. So as you can see, there's just a ton of different options. Ah, here it is. And now here, well, this is one of the vet. This is a Venom number nine. Great Venom cover. Uh, and there were still a few other. Maybe I missed them. But there were a few other uh, Spider-Man uh, number one. Like I said, the new Dan Slot series. There's that one. I thought there were a few other. But as you can see. So many different covers to choose from. 
you know, like I said, the, the, these covers are going, you know, exclusive books are going for, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40, sometimes $50. So I'm trying to zero in on what I may want to pick up. Like I said, I'm certainly going to be focusing on some of the Spider-Man uh, books, uh, some of my favorite. I um, thought there was some other... So, um, so I just wanted to preview the pre preview these uh, these covers, um, and let me know. Let me know what you think. Are you know are these exclusive covers? Do, you know, do they pop in value? Um, do they? You know, is there any spec value behind these books, um, or is it just really to get your hands on an exclusive cover that you may not be able to get uh, anywhere else? Um, yeah, as I come to think of it, that might be, so I'm scrolling back down. I am certainly going to try to nab a copy or two of this, uh, Spider-Man number one. Um, I thought the comic mint also had some other books. Let's take a quick peek. So they're doing the action comics and detective comics. That was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic. That one looks really good, too. So let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, just wanted to kind of preview these and get the kind of community's feedback on this. What do you think of these books? What are your favorite covers? So many different exclusive covers here at Comic-Con uh, New York City. Um, so I will be there on day one, Thursday on uh, the 6th of October. So if anybody is planning on being there on Thursday, let me know. Shoot me a message on Instagram. Love to connect with you. Definitely we're looking forward to meeting some of the community there and, uh, you know, shaking hands, getting some pictures. Um, so definitely, definitely uh, hit me up on Instagram if, you, if, you, if you'll be there. And like I said, let me know. Drop me a comment down below. Um, uh, you know, what you think of these exclusive? What do you think, uh, you know, what, what are you targeting or if you're planning on picking up any of these exclusives or, you know, if you're not going, you know, which books would you be after, um, you know, to, uh, to lock down uh, during the con. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, drop me a comment. Let me know. And we will uh, we'll see you soon.